How's it going, bud? <laughs> Alrighty, folks. We are back on the truck. Well, we never really went anywhere, but uh, I think today's plan, it's been a few days. I haven't done much on here. I've been spending all my time actually still working on the upstairs, trying to get that all revamped. But uh, I think with the plan, or what I want to do, something different, a little fun. I don't want to do any mechanical uh, motor or any of that kind of stuff. We do have to, a whole lot of stuff happening in here, but I'm waiting for an order for Speedway. There's just a few doll up parts in there, like air cleaner, things like that. We gotta do the gas pedal. I don't know, there's a whole lot of stuff there, but I think the first round I'd like to do, we'll start working on this step thing. That's kind of what I'm thinking. What I'd really like to do is get, um, get it tacked in place, uh, get it cut out for the door like I want. It'd be really cool to actually build it so it's into the door that it works. I guess we'll have to experiment and see if my idea, if it can, if it'll work right. I don't want to go the easy route and just cut the top of the door out and step over all that. I'd like it to go down to the natural where the door was. That would be ideal in my eyes. Um, we have the levels. Well, the front here is well where I want it. And I mean, the truck sits level, I think, best I can tell. Uh, but I guess my rear fender's up a little higher than the front, or maybe I didn't build this deep enough because I did have like two different sets of tires on it. So, which is fine. I can fix this pretty easy. All we're going to do is uh, just slot our holes a little bit and then that'll just bring this down. We only got to bring it down like, I don't know, half an inch. So it should be easy. We'll just do some adjustability in the fender. We'll drop that a little bit. It'll probably fix some of the other stuff that, um, that bugs me and uh, it'll be good to go. Anyways, I think what I'm going to do right now is we're going to lift this up and uh, we'll start tacking the other side on. And I think I'm just going to blindly draw. I did draw it actually out on here, what I thought it should be. So we'll start on the passenger side, which probably will end up working really well. And then it won't transfer well over to the other side, but... <laughs> We'll start with this. Hopefully I can use this piece. If not, this will be an easy piece to make. Uh, and then we'll just kind of keep trimming and making this look nice until I cut this out and I can actually open the door. That's the, that's the big one.
Well, we got everything placed back where it should be. Uh, can I have this? I think it looks right. I don't know. Kind of have a weird illusion from where I'm standing, but we can always adjust that. I think this part's all good. The fit's not perfect, but I would like to make my goal where the fender can unbolt and this thing comes with the fender. So this is going to get welded onto here permanent. And then up here, I would like to be able to bolt it. That's my, my hope. <laughs> we're, we did a couple bends and we're still a hair bit out. So hopefully I can get that to uh, fit a little better, but that's why we're practicing on this side. Uh, this is tacked in, so I know where it should be. I think the easiest way to hit this thing would be to pull this off, snip this to the way I thought it should be, and cross my fingers that it's actually in the, the right zone that basically we can tack this right back on, and I should be able to open and close the door, and then I'm going to see what problems I'm going to have up here. It's kind of my thought. Survey says, oh, ho, 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 look at that. I like it. <laughs> I'm sure I have to do some tweaking here, but like that seems. Like we're good. Let's put that piece on and just see what happens. fitting on there to it doesn't fit on there now. <laughs> I think that works. I like it. There's uh, I have to work on the gap. It's not bad. It's a big gap right now. Well, I don't mind the bigger gap down there because that's just probably going to make a feller's life easier. But we got to scooch this in and out so it follows the line better. Throw some light on here. So it follows the line better. But overall, it, uh, it doesn't hit anywhere. Like here where I thought it was gonna hit, it just works perfect. 
I think that's a pretty uh, trick look here. Look at that. Nice. So the plan is going to be, I still want the drains to be under here, but we just got to add a little strip into here just to, to hold this shape. So what I might do is just cut a random strip. I'm going to have it stick out too far, but at least then I can close my door, get it lined up to this thing. I'm going to first run the zip cut through, make sure I can get this like evenly, a bigger gap like that, because we're going to have a piece of sheet metal on top and bottom. It'll have like a nice crisp line, but yes, that is awesome. <laughs> That's a little easier than I thought. Oh man. Awesome. All right, next step. Uh, well, I'm going to cut a strip of sheet metal that I can stick underneath there that we can use into this edge. <clears throat> like I said, I'll open this gap up a little more. Uh, then we'll spray some uh, pinch well primer in there and then we can kind of zap everything shut inside of there. Cool. This has worked out a little, a little better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <clears throat> One thing I find though, this thing does not like a gap whatsoever. It's kind of like TIG welding. But I love how little heat that puts in. Let's try it in here. That cool or what? Golly. Look how little heat that puts in there. You get a wee bit of a wobble, but man. So how does it work? Well, it works awesome. For what I wanted to do with it, it works awesome. It's sheet metal. You can see the heat soak is like next to nothing. Very minor. Um, I am getting like, that's what I was spending time playing with. You can see inside the penetrations actually, like it's poking through like a really nice MIG or a TIG weld. So that part's good. It's a little hit and miss with your gaps and things. I don't know if I can get you in there a little more. It's a little hit and miss with the gaps and things. You can see we kind of, we blew a few holes, which actually I'm okay with. That just tells me I didn't move fast enough, but um, I like it. It's awesome. Is it a replacement for a MIG? No, 
Because look, look how bulky this whole setup is. It's terrible. I guess I could put the line in there, but the line's not as long as my other line. So this is basically what my what I really wanted it for. Because I could tack, tack, tack. And you're watching me real time for the most part. I'll do a couple more welds with it just to show. Maybe when I do the other side. But you can see how it's so much faster. If you were MIG welding, you would tack, tack, or I stitch. This would probably take me a half hour, I think. Something like that, give or take. And this thing just took a few minutes and I kind of just did the whole, the whole darn thing. You know, like one, almost, almost one continuous zap. Had a few little hiccups there, but hey, this thing's still new. I'm still trying to figure it all out here. Anyways, we did up here, we did this one. This is a nice, like, nice weld, nice and tight. I like it. You can see the cross on the inside. Hope I ground it, but you can see across. That's it right there. So you can see we're getting full penetration all the way through. So super happy. I dig it. So that was my biggest thing for was to do if I could do a full stitch across a door and how bad would it warp. But it's I don't even think I could do this nice with a TIG welder like by far. That's so little. There's a little bit of a tiny bit of warpage, but I mean, we're not hiding that we're going to be doing body work on it. So that part doesn't bother me. It's nothing uh, in the big hindsight of things. Like I think uh, maybe two coats of high build would even kind of get rid of that. If you could get in there or I cared a little more, you can probably go in and plenish that, like hammer, hammer dolly it, and then it'd probably be pretty dang nice. Anyways, that's my thought. I've been practicing like crazy with it. Now I've actually, this is the first time I've actually used it, and this is the purpose that I was hoping that I could use it for. So, awesome. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of things I'll have to fix up. I'm going to do that with the MIG and touch up everything. Now I'm just going to have to cut a piece of uh, some sheet metal because, well, my goal is going to be from this edge to come into the bottom. We don't want to plug up the drain holes. I don't really care. You're not going to see much of that because it's pretty invisible. So we might make a sheet that comes here to an invisible line along here. And then here the goal is to have a sheet and it just like butts up to this panel. I like so. So this will just be look like a little step all the way across. I'm not sure how I'm doing that part yet. <laughs> this one, I guess we can come in. We'll maybe trim this a little bit. We'll kind of come in, follow the, the inner door gap here, but we'll kind of hit the bottom edge. Bottom edge, maybe the top edge. No, we can't. We got to keep it below, because I think this door. Oh, does that door go? Hmm. Maybe I have to watch what I'm doing here, because this might hoop me. Where does that door bottom up to? Oh. oh, we might have to step it underneath there. Okay. I think to play it safe, we might. Yeah, it seems like that's gonna. Like it should be okay under there, but this thing kind of is very flush with that. So I'm worried that if I do what I think I'm going to do, it's going to, this door is going to bind on it. I guess ideally, uh, uh, in the hindsight, we could cut this lip off and pinch this straight flush with the door, but I guess we'll deal with that problem when it comes. We'll continue what I think I'm going to do, and if it fails, then we know the fix is going to be to cut this, this tiny lip off, the pinch weld, and make the door flush with the edge of the door here. I don't know, enough babbling. We'll just we'll just cut and weld stuff and see where we get. <laughs>
Hmm. Not so good on there. nice. Yeah, a few spots to clean up. to move consistent that's all I find usually the wire pushes but with the thin stuff it doesn't move fast enough to do that you got gaps not liking that Nope, we'll have to make that part. But that's okay. Look at that. Mint! Right. <clears throat> well, we're doing not too bad. We got this in here. I just screwed it up from the bottom side. You can see we'll probably seal that, but I just wanted to get that fitting good. Uh, we laser blasted that. That was like awesome. That welded nice. We had a few stragglers because the lighting or the, um, the metal just wasn't butted tight. And that's just, it's like a fusion weld this thing, but it actually has a wire feed. This is the wire feeder. so. The way it goes is just as it's coming out, you can see the wire feeder right there. So it's, uh, I don't know, it's different, but I do like it overall. It's uh, uber nice. Anyways, we got that zapped into place. 
Uh, this is held in. We've got to work these corners next because they're just open front and back. So I'm going to figure that out. And then I want to cut a strip here. And basically, we're going to clean this up. We're going to spritz a bit of uh, paint or whatever you want to call it. Weld through primer in there and then we're going to kind of close that up. So up here though, like I've been running my light under here. You can see it. I'm just looking for little tiny pinholes. So we kind of got that all blitzed up. This thing sits in place. I want to fix the gaps up the bottom. I'm happy with that's good. And then, uh, yeah, I just want to get these smoothed up a little better here. You can see there's almost no grinding a feller needed. Um, you can see that we didn't do a butt weld or nothing. So there just is what it is, but I don't know, I'm pretty happy. This thing worked great. Like it's just nice and fast for what I'm doing. Instead of the tedious zap, 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 you can kind of blitz in one burn. Anyways, um, let's clean up these gaps and uh, so make some filler strips and then we'll see how the overall uh, overall door looks. I mean, I like it from this angle. You can't really tell, but <laughs> I uh, well, we got to tweak and do some little bit of tweak in here. But all right, enough enough yabbing. Let's uh, let's build some more stuff. I already know I'm not going to be able to do there. <laughs> Bit of a gap. Hmm. I think it's working. It's pretty cool, man. Now 
I got to do a few little fix ups there. But you kind of see it always start and stop, but it's because the tip has the ground onto here. That's like the safety feature, because if I push the trigger now, nothing will happen. That's why you see it kind of hiccup on me. Okay. Well, now we pulled the MIG. <laughs> What did I do, eh? So, I was trying to ignore it, but <clears throat> I had to go back and revisit. I had it all welded. I don't know, I guess my cut, something wasn't straight. I buzzed it, I closed it. The gap was nice up in the front, but as it got over here, it got kind of goofy, so. Anyways, I cut it, it relaxed. You can see the size of the uh, gap we gotta fill here, so I guess we're, uh, Basically migging it anyways. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Well, whatever. I could have left it and filled it with Bondo, but I felt that's not really a step, but I don't know. It's not a good place to have a, a lot of Bondo, I felt. So anyways, I, uh, yeah, we'll do the right thing. Well, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. And we're just going to uh, kind of just zap this thing full. Boo urns. Oh well. We're gonna zap that, then we kind of have this loosely done. I still gotta do the top here. That was right on my toe. I got way too much stuff on here. I still gotta bolt the top. This is all burned in, this is good. I still don't know how I'm finishing this transition. And I gotta put an edge on here yet. Like, I don't know. I want to do a little bigger than this. I'd like just to give it a little bit of strength. Uh, we'll make some way to tie it back to the chassis later, just so it's not this floppy piece of sheet metal that's dancing in the wind there. But this thing, like I say, is just, I don't know, doesn't have a good end to it. Uh, so I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, that's a future problem. Current problem, filling this crack. So we'll just do that really quick. And well, at least we're, we kind of got the one jam done. And I'm hoping the other side just goes way better because I pre-cut everything. So I'm hoping everything's going to be the same, same. Uh, that said, when this is done, I will put the other one, you know, we'll tack the other one on similar. I'm going to tem template this thing that I just had, that I just did here. And then we'll kind of 
trace it over to the other side and hopefully it works out the same. But you can see what I was going for. It just, uh, just has such a nicer look to it. Like now when the door opens. It looks trick. I like it. All right, back to some more welding. Cool. We got this thing set up right now. I got this tacked in. It's oriented about how I want. This is pretty lined up. We'll have a little bit of, little bit of finessing, but not that big of a deal. Uh, have to still address. My gap is not perfect up there, but we'll figure a way to make that work. Um, now what I got to do is go to the other side. I'm going to trace the door on that one, and I'm going to try to mirror it over to this side. This side, the gaps are not as nice, but it's the only way the door actually opens and closes. So I'm not really going to visit anything because I'm not like that bothered by it, I guess is the right way to say. I don't know why the bottom gap bugged me, but this one's crap and it doesn't bother me. <laughs> ah, whatever. We'll do it. If, I have, if it bugs me, I, I'll set this up with this gap, but we can always weld in a filler just to kind of close this up. Up here, there's not much I can do. It just is what it is. I guess I can cut and try to slice. Man, I don't want to do that, but I might do it yet. But first, we'll we'll start with the other bit. I'm just going to do a couple little measurements, and then uh, we will paper template the other one, and we'll kind of hover it over here, trace it out, and with any luck, uh, everything's going to work the way it should. <laughs> My pup. Should work as it should, right? Well, I forgot to mention yesterday too. Uh, Wally was out working on his car here. So he basically got all the welds all ground down. I don't have any good 3 16 plate to do anything. So I basically cut up some templates for gussets we're gonna do. I just did these out of just some spare 16 that I had over there. Uh, the idea is we're sticking these boxing plates on everywhere, so we got there and I made something else for the step ups over on this side. So he kind of cut free his spring pockets. We're going to reuse those. And then I did these, which I have to, I downsized them just a hair, but they're going to go up around here, going to get welded and then fully welded all around on all the, all the different angles. That's the plan. Uh, so he's got to do that. He's going to get a piece of stick so we can kind of finish the frame square like box I guess close in the back and then the idea these are gonna get blitzed on somewhere here and then we're gonna build a new mount up there to hold the springs we'll kind of build some kind of a pocket for it up on top at least that's the plan so that's all that's really happened over on this front
Hey, buddy, you got a bed? Did you choose to lay on the floor? <laughs> hey, what's up with that, bud? All right, we did pretty good. I'm pretty happy here. Look at that. Got the one door. Uh, all the bits are done. Got it in. We got our edges, front, back. So this front part is a burned on. It is a permanent piece now, both sides. Uh, the step still can come unbolt. We want to do that so we can prime. I'm probably going to get behind here, fix up this little part a little bit, stuff like that. But that's going to sandwich together. This kind of just going to make sure stuff is the same, same. And then we got this side all done. So big win. Pretty happy. Look at that. We haven't touched here. And here looks like I got a. Might have to do a slit just to bring this back because, well, whatever. I goofed. Not a biggie. Around here, I haven't done anything with this because, like I said before, I'm just out of time today. So we're going to cut this, sandwich this all together, and uh, add a little strip into here just to. And I got to work this edge a little better. I think this is just not very clean. This is over here. This somehow came out. So I don't know. Somehow my door came out of adjustments so I got to kind of figure that part out but other than that hey eh? not too shabby I know it was a lot more work but I'm happy with it because it just looks way more trick the door just comes down it just kind of flows into it I like it Anyways, folks, I think at this point, I think that is where we are going to call this one. I got a little more clean up, clean up the tools, stuff like that to do, but hey, it's a progress. Hopefully some other parts come in and maybe we'll work a little more mechanical. I don't know. We'll see where we get, what we do next. Anyways, folks, as always, I want to thank you all for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Later.